In estimates of global disease burden, hypertension is the leading cause of premature death and disability. Importantly, it's a major contributor to stroke and heart disease. If detected and treated, lowering blood pressure can reduce rates of disease quite effectively. There are an estimated 6 million Australians with hypertension, including approximately 4 million who are either untreated or have inadequate control. Of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander population, a large proportion, about 25%, are estimated to have hypertension. The 2016 Hypertension Guideline is comprehensive and includes a focus on both primary prevention in people without other disease states, but also secondary prevention for people who may have renal disease, diabetes or a previous stroke. This is important because of the ageing Australian population and the increasing complexity and level of disease. The new guideline includes a increased focus on out-of-clinic blood pressure measures. This includes both ambulatory and home blood pressure monitoring. Out-of-clinic blood pressure measures can be useful to address the issues of white coat hypertension, where patients have elevated levels in the clinic, but more reasonable levels outside the clinic. The 2016 guideline considered particularly patients at high risk. There is some evidence that this group may benefit from more intense blood pressure lowering with reduced heart attacks and strokes. Of course, if trying to do this, it's very important to make sure treatment is tolerated and watch for the occurrence of adverse effects. In mild hypertension, the evidence clearly demonstrates benefits with reduction in strokes, vascular events and overall mortality. In the group with particularly mild hypertension, it's really important to look at overall cardiovascular risk. It's important for health professionals to measure blood pressure at every opportunity and to use the guideline to offer treatments. They're up to date and based on the best available current evidence. The successful management of hypertension has been one of the major achievements of medicine over the last 50 years and has changed the face of medical practice. Let's not be complacent in relation to blood pressure. There are still gaps between evidence and practice.